Hello, and welcome to Reaching Dream Fulfillment. This is day 14 of the 30-day challenge, which I messed up again. <laughs> Something happened that distracted me for a while, and I didn't put up some videos for a few days. So, first time technical problems, and now I have let something distract me that kept me away from my goals. I allowed it to, and I shouldn't have. I should have um, planned more properly and st stayed steadfast, but you live and learn. I need to be more accountable, and I need to hold myself more accountable when you know things come up in life, but that's okay. You get back on your horse, and you go towards your goals again, and keep to the plan. Well, as far as one of the things I want to do is rent some uh, rooms in my home to some college students, and I've pursued that goal some. I tried to contact a friend that would help me out with that because he does a lot of remodeling in his own home, and I've seen his work, and it's very good, and he'll charge me good as a friend and all that, and put care into it, just like he would with his own home, and I know that, so I know. I can count on him, and he's a good person to go to. Contacted him. He's going to be busy for a while because his daughter and the baby, they moved They moved out, and his wife wants some work done on the home. So he'll be busy for a while. In the meantime, I'm going to contact another friend who uh, knows a contractor who did some work that did good work for me, but had trouble contacting this person, but I'm going to try again and maybe get some of it done before. And then by the time my friend is ready and I'll keep on checking back with him and then I will see if he can continue from there. So, and I also want to make the home look better before my sister gets married. And one of the neighbors is going to help me with chairs that I'm going to bring to my home. So working on that. So, it's so the first thing, if I rent some rooms in this home, that'll be the first thing to raise my income quick, quickly. Some of the other goals I have will take longer. I'm not going to count that as a new source of income because it's not completely created on my own due to the fact I, did, I already have a home, so I'm not going to count that. I'm going to count it as extra income, but I have that goal, the three new sources of income by my birthday. I'm not going to count that. I'm just going to do that for a while until I make money doing other things that are unrelated to my job that match the amount of money I do renting the rooms. And if I have a good renter, I'll keep them until I, you know, they leave. Unless I have a girlfriend that's moving in, then that would change, obviously. As far as um, getting dates, I... Haven't done that in a while, so I wasn't really focusing on that. And I did go once on a Friday. I called it Flirting Fridays. That was going to go every Friday. Well, there's one that I'm getting friendly with, so I'll ask her out next week. And that's been set up, and we'll just see about that and give it a try. Let's see, what else? <clears throat> The um, online program that I have, I tried another plan to, to get it to sell. Unfortunately, that plan did not work. So now I have to now, during this month, orchestrate a last effort plan. And if that doesn't work, I have another plan on the same online program to sell something. Otherwise, I need to go to another platform. So that's still something that I've created, but I haven't been able to <clears throat> have it develop in the way I'd like to and account for something. As far as um, previewing the videos to sell on eBay, that's not what I'm going to keep on doing, but that's just to get those videos out of the home. I'm still previewing to make sure they're in good quality, and I've gone through a large amount of them, but I need to put in more amount of time so I can actually make money on that and then follow a plan for selling on eBay that I saw on YouTube. That's not something I want to continue doing, but I will do for a while. I'm also improving a program that I have that I'm not going to announce yet, but later on 
I'm going to have a free program, self-development program, that I am going to, once I have enough views and I get this YouTube channel built to a certain point, I will sell, not sell, but have a link on YouTube that you can get that free program. And then from there, I will have a more advanced program that I'll sell for a certain amount. I have very detailed plans, but they, I need to be very patient and have these plans develop through time. I also am working on many other things that will develop over time as I develop them. I need to really save money a lot better than I have. I live alone. I go out too much. I'm doing a little better with this, but I need to really budget really well because I'm at that point where I need to be very careful with my money. And renting these rooms will give me better breathing space and give me monetary and uh, income stress relief. I really need that. It's very crucial that I get very, very motivated and have extreme discipline at this point, right here, right now. That's just no question about it. Overall, I got distracted over the last week, so I did not work on the, my goals the way I'd like to, but that's fine. I'm back now and doing this is the first step back. I wasted a few days, but I'm very motivated. And when I lose a few days, it sets me back a little bit, but I will get the discipline back, get in my routines that have giving me, putting me into a better direction. And I will have definitely significant improvements by the end of these two years, by the time I graduate two years at some location, this time, not my backyard. So stay strong with your goals and have discipline. And when you do, like all of us, like I just did, get distracted or things come up that occupy you for a while, you need to get back on the horse as soon as possible because that can be a bad habit. And then you do not accomplish your goals that you set. And a few days can turn into a few weeks and they keep on saying later, later, later. And then more and more excuses. There's no need for that. This concludes my monthly goals report. And I will have a better goals report next time. I am happy I'm doing these monthly goal reports because it's going to hold me accountable. And as I get more accountable, I want to be able to say more positive things every month so I can show progress. And I will do that. Thank you. If you liked the video you just saw, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe button or the and the bell right next to it. Also, you can give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave a comment. Thank you.